I was a bit of disbelief because it was just, it was just, I worked and worked since I was five and then now it's, I, it's over <laughs> and now it's just figuring out what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. It's just this huge relief where you, you want to tell everybody about it, but you also want to be really humble. I was actually pretty excited. I knew I had a feeling it was coming because me and my friend Samuel, we've been going at it for a couple of years and we knew we were probably ahead of everybody else. So I saw it coming, but I was excited to hear that I actually caught him. I wouldn't say relief because I know how much I have ahead of me, um, but I guess a little a little warm inside knowing that something had come of my hard work. The unique advantages afforded to me by the STEM Academy were crucial in my past valedictorian. Uh, one of the most prominent being dual enrollment uh, being opened up for free. That was a huge thing for me in uh, junior year and it's continued to be for the last two years. Um, it's always something I've had in the back of my mind that I wanted to pursue. I never really it's like, oh, valedictorian, I'm definitely going to be valedictorian. But it's always definitely a goal I've had. I was definitely excited, you know, looking forward to college now. So my brother was a valedictorian for 2013, and so I kind of had some big shoes to fill, but I did it. My parents are very supportive, and they have more faith in me than I do. So when I told them, they were like, oh, yeah, we knew. And I was like, oh, OK, I'm the only one surprised. Once you work hard for something, as hard as you work to, um, to get the grades you need to be valedictorian, it's really relieving, but it's also scary because you have to give a speech. It was great. I was really excited. I was very proud of myself, and I um, felt it really validated all of my hard work.